parishioners and friends, uh, what a surprise! Welcome back to Father Alfie's table. The last time was June, the end of June of 2021. And uh, what happened is that I went to uh, do a Mass at uh, uh, John Paul II Catholic School in Port Alberni and, uh, uh, for Easter. And what a surprise, all the kids I never met before, they came to me and they said, Father Alfie, Father Alfie, we know you, we know you from Father Alfie's table. And we want you to do it in a new one. We want you to start again, please. And all, I find out all class was looking at Father Alfie's table. And that really moved me. And I take this opportunity to send my greetings and blessing to all the students of John Paul II in Port Alberni and all the teachers and staff. And so here we go. Because of you, I'm back. Joseph Rector is that. Got my barbecue here. <laughs> and look at that. Oni is a pizza oven and goes up to 900 degrees. That's what they say, but I believe it. Because they cook the pizza in one minute and a half, two minutes. And it's very simple. There is a stone inside. This is the stone where we cook the pizza. As you can tell, I have used it a lot. This black is not going away, but it's okay. We turn it on. It's, it's propane, right? So it goes on with two sides. And I'll show you. Can you look inside? See the flame? It's a windy day, unfortunately, but it's okay. It's still going to work. It's a long time ago, I remember, but that was in the conventional oven, so this is slightly different. The dough is basically the same. I use uh, like 20 grams of, um, of yeast, uh, fresh yeast, and then flour, 200 grams, just enough for one pizza. And one is always half of the flour, so 100 grams, uh, half a cup of water. And see, so mix it all together with a touch, touch of uh, um, salts and of course a drizzle of olive oil and you, I did it last night for today but I think starting in the morning for the evening is plenty of time for the dough to rise. So this is the dough and if you see it's a bit elastic and that's the way it should be and that's being rested for like few hours now. So we're gonna put this on the side right now because we're gonna prepare all the ingredients first. And I think this is enough, so we'll cut. Take some artichokes. And I use three. We're gonna cut this thin. Um, the top one usually is a little bit hard and chewy, so I'm gonna take those off. I'm very, very picky. When you have a bite, it needs to melt in your mouth. Okay, now this is very small. And we're gonna dry a little bit because it's too, um, too much liquid. A bit dry and uh, put them here. All ready to go. Those black olives are dry olives and already pitted. I cannot find them in Victoria. The only place I can find them is in Vancouver. Italian daily. <clears throat> And they're actually salty, so that's good. So we've got olives, we've got artichokes, we've got cheese, and we've got some tomatoes. Those are tomatoes from the can, from Italy, and I just, uh, just, it's just tomatoes. So what I do, I just take them in the blender and just give a quick blend with touch olive oil, and that's what it is. Flour on the bottom, so the dough is not gonna stick. 
and make sure it's all dry. Take the dough, put it down, and starting from the center, they say use these two fingers like that. Starting from the center, you go around like that. Don't we leave we leave the board uh, the the edges as they are, and then we slowly take it up. And we can stretch a little bit like this. Oh. That's why it needs to be elastic, otherwise it will create holes. And it's a disaster when it goes in that little oven because it gets stuck inside. Right. As you can tell, I'm not a professional pizzaiolo, but I'm learning. Alright, what is this? I have no idea. I don't know how it's called. It's just the place, the thing, the thing, the thingy, where we put the pizza on and from here we go in the oven and we're gonna slide into the oven. Over here, so it's gonna slice, it needs to slide, it needs to slice, otherwise the worst is when it gets stuck. Pizza. Put it, you see, that now it's sliced like that. Perfect. And be careful, don't put any liquids around, otherwise it will glue it on it. So then when we put it inside the oven, it's gonna stuck here and it's gonna be a mess. So put some tomatoes. So we put some cheese, mozzarella cheese. Olives and artichoke that we just cut it. Not too loaded, that is already maximum loaded. We don't want to load it too much. So before it goes in the oven, a drizzle, we call it drizzle, all of olive oil, like that. Just a quick round. A sprinkle of salt, not too much because we said that our black olive is already salty, so just a pinch. Ready for the oven. Let's go. 15 minutes are gone since the oven was on, so the stone should be nice and hot. So we're gonna put this right in and look how it's gonna slice, okay? We need to slide. If it doesn't slide, we are we are in trouble. Ready? And voila! You see the edge is is, is rising. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna turn it again on the other side. Side on the other side and it's coming along. That's it, that's what I wanted, the other side there. You see it's already cooked black there. Yummy, yummy, it's coming up well. It's amazing. It's probably a meter and a half. We'll do it on the other side. And let's get burned, see? That's beauty. Oh, looks ready. Looks ready. From the oven to the cutting board. Is, voila, look at this. Ah, smells so good. It's the cutter. We're gonna wait a just a little bit before we cut it. Right. Let's taste it. We're gonna cut it. in your mouth. Mm. Oh my goodness, so good. Mm. Those are the moments we really need to be thankful. Thankful to God. Thankful to life. Oh look at this. Mm. It's okay. This is fantastic. 
I'm glad to be back. Everyone, God bless you all. Oh!